me, Pastor George, I bet you knew that already, and I'm joined on the phone tonight. I think tonight. we need to clear some of these things up tonight because this has been going on for 10 years. Sure. And even though I walked away from it and didn't look back, it's coming back to haunt me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it's haunting victims out there. People out there are being hurt. Um, it was in nine, uh, 2001 that I ordained this woman. Mm -hmm. And I ordained her, uh, Pastor George, because as a woman minister, I wanted to help another woman to fulfill her own ministry. Sure. And so in good faith, I did ordain her. Mm -hmm. But a couple of months later, I received emails from readers who was telling me that they saw the documents of ordination on this woman's website. Oh, my goodness. And I immediately sent an email and asked her to remove it, mm -hmm. that it was tacky, you just don't do these things, you just don't flaunt a sacred document mm -hmm. in public. Okay. And uh, mm -hmm. I, I received a reply to the letter, and um, the letter that came to me was, filled with profanities, profanities, threatenings. I was so shocked and so stunned, uh, I didn't know what to do. Oh my. So I, I sent another note and I said, unless you return those to me or take that down, take it down off the website now and return it to me because I am revoking your credentials. Mm -hmm. Yeah, with, Absolutely. Yeah. The other article that I wrote was the confession of my ordaining this woman. Okay. Uh, and uh, also revoking those credentials.